My name is um, David Altman. I'm working in uh, Ecole Normale Supérieure in Paris. My group is about applied mathematics and uh, computational biology. And I would like to um, discuss and introduce uh, today basic notion about what is an applied mathematician, especially for um, people that will be interested in uh, working and going into the field of um, biology, molecular and cellular biology. So what is applied mathematics uh, today? It's clear that over the uh, past uh, 100 years, applied mathematics confirms the application of math into um, different fields of sciences, such as engineering, um, chemistry, physics and uh, many others and actually today I think the most important application is certainly in life sciences in biology because there is a large uh, amount of data that have been acquired and to make sense of the data in principle we need modeling statistical physics to um, formulate the questions so that quantitative answer can be produced. And how this is achieved? It's usually through um, the analysis of the model. And at this point, a specific field of applied mathematics are entering, such as um, partial differential equations. And usually there are coupled partial differential equations and if we want to make sense and to uh, analyze the equations, we usually need to uh, solve them analytically, asymptotically, or um, just by doing or making a rational simulation. And I think this is um, the, the impact of modern applied mathematics uh, on uh, life science, which is precisely to um, make sure that we can analyze the, um, and uh, study the, the, the problem and get the, the, the solution. Of course, there are other very fundamental parts of modern applied mathematics, which is in the representation of uh, data. How, for example, we can represent in a sparse manner, complex data. How can we how can we project data in a space, in low dimensional space such as dimension two, dimension three? So we can make sense of uh, the data. And I think this is a, a real challenge because for this we usually need um, differential geometry to uh, see, for example, how uh, a manifold can uh, uh, approximate data. We need to, for example, in, in recent modern clustering theory, which is part of statistics, we need to make sure that we can uh, differentiate clusters or we can uh, affect one piece of the data to a cluster. So there are many applications of modern applied mathematics. In, in finance, to try to understand uh, the behavior or the collective behavior of uh, the market. And it's usually based on uh, heavy uh, stochastic uh, processes and analysis. For example, predicting the weather forecast is also very challenging. I mean, to get a prediction of uh, several days accurately requires usually to solve uh, partial differential equation coming from fluid dynamics and it is coupled because for example the ocean can affect um, the, 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 the air and so people end up with a complex coupled partial differential equation and most of the time numerical simulations uh, are required to solve them. And this is also very challenging, how to design 
um, rational simulations when there are many parameters, many stochasticity, and uh, many bottlenecks that uh, uh, will impose very long simulations. So this is uh, part of modern applied mathematics to uh, give solutions to this type of questions. And uh, I would like to finish by uh, mentioning uh, other very interesting questions in uh, uh, reverse engineering when, for example, we have uh, data coming from uh, a large uh, medical instrument such as uh, fMRI or any kind of devices where we need to reconstruct an image from a source. Although this has been solved quite extensively in the past 50 years, the combination of uh, uh, many instruments, especially the ultrasound, that are now used in a reverse engineering problem to destroy a uh, structure with a resolution that is increasingly good. It is important to make sure that, uh, for example, when this is used to destroy uh, cells that are at the resolution of microns, that this uh, resolution is uh, achieved. So, the last question is, of course, how to become an applied mathematician. And I think um, it's a very challenging um, education because really it requires uh, to understand and to have learned several fields, including uh, pure math, to understand the um, basic concepts, statistical physics, and theoretical physics to be able to uh, model things, numerical analysis to be able to design um, numerical codes, computer science to be able to program efficiently. And nowadays, of course, if we would like to enter into a new field, it is important to understand the field of interest. For example, in biology, in molecular and cellular biology, it is important to understand the field to the point that um, the applied mathematician himself or herself can raise biological questions. Not that uh, the person will answer the question uh, with experimental, um, with, with doing experiments, but the person needs to understand enough to criticize experiments so the model the analysis of the model can really uh, help in understanding. So I think um, this is a brief description of, of the, the career and uh, the, the modern question is applied mathematics. And I hope um, this can generate um, a flux in that direction. Thank you.